hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can find the periodicity of a signal using autocorrelation function earlier i had shown you how you can find the spectrum of fun of a data by using fft but in many cases fft is not a feasible solution so here i am going to show you how you can use autocorrelation function to get the periodicity of your data so let us first load the data i am going to use your data office temperature data this is by default provided by matlab and uh, once you load the office temperature data it will load the temperature data and let's plot this data right so let's plot this temperature and this temperature is into the fahrenheit if you see here and one more thing you might notice here that the temperature is uh, you know this is a showing here oscillatory behavior if you notice it right so the temperature is showing here oscillatory behavior that's mean throughout the week temperature is oscillating in between 70 to 76 degree fahrenheit and finally in this video we will create autocorrelation function which will show a response something like this in which at the zero lag autocorrelation will be the maximum here and after around the seven days you will see here the autocorrelation will show some peak that means this signal is periodic after around the seven days and we will get it by using some MATLAB functions and the programming techniques first of all that let's get a temperature normalized temperature so we can get temperature norm that is the normalized temperature by using temp is equal to mean of temp right so once we once we uh, subtract mean of temp it will become a normalized which uh, the now the mean of this temperature norm will be almost zero if you see here so the mean of this is now zero and now you can see this temp norm is varying around the zero right great now let's uh, now our uh, remember our task is to get the periodicity right and the sampling of uh, uh, the sampling of this um, you know the sampling of the data is two times per hour right so you can say here two times per hours right that means if we talk about the fs for a day then it will be 2 multiplied by 24 that means two time a day that means fs is 48 per day you can say and then we are going to create a time vector t the t will start from 0 and then it will go up to the length of temp norm right and then we are going to subtract 1 since it is starting from 0 and finally we can divide it with the fs to create a, our time vector so if you see here the time vector has a length of 5584 and the same length is also having by our temperature data and the temperature norm data great now let's plot this so once we plot this t using temp uh, temp norm okay uh, once we plot temp norm against the t with x level x level is time in days and also y level and y level is temperature in degree celsius and we are going to provide here tight axis and then of course shg now it will bring here a figure now this is a temperature plot figure and uh, if you notice here that this is fahrenheit you will notice here it is um, it is having a periodicity but i'll show you with the autocorrelation 
calculation so once we do auto correlation you will get a periodic you will get a periodic uh, data there so let's get auto core uh, you know function so you can say um, auto core right so that is the auto core uh, auto core variable and then lags so this variable will store auto correlation matrix and this variable will store lags between the data points between the data points now let's apply x core correlation between you know the temp norm right and then we are going to provide here you know we are going to provide here uh, 3 cross 7 and then cross fs right and then it will return it into the coefficient form right so uh, perhaps we are missing here this one right great so if you write here help x core you will see here so the third parameter which we are passing there right so that third parameter we are just taking it as a you know uh, we are taking it as a reference 3 into 7 into fs we are taking that as a reference and uh, if you see here x core takes two variable uh, two uh, input right s2 and the s1 so after that it correlate this s2 according to this one and then finally it gets it, it produces the output right so we have just passed this one we have just passed this data for a reference now we are going to plot this data so let's plot this lags and then divide it by fs and then auto core now you will see here as i had shown you earlier right so as i had shown you earlier this is um what would you say uh, this is auto correlation um, auto correlation plot which shows that right the maximum is occurring at the zero and the another maximum is occurring somehow somewhere uh, you know the nearby nearby seven okay this is almost nearby seven right so if you see here this reference is telling that this will shift this temperature norm up to 20 uh, 21 points right so this says that it will shift up to 21 points and each points means here 21 days right so fs is corresponding to the one day data and this 3 into 7 is corresponding to 21 days and similarly if you see this into a graph so this is you know this has been computed along the 21 days ahead of the data and 21 days behind of the data of a reference right now what we are going to do here we are going to we are going to get a peak value so once we get the peak value of this and the peak value of this and after that we can get the difference simply and the difference will be the period of our original data so for the periodicity MATLAB have a function uh, for the finding a peak MATLAB have a function known as a find peaks so let's get a peak and the location of the peak lc into the lc and then we can write here find peaks so find peaks is matlab function it will get a peak from auto core uh, from auto core um, you know variable so once you get uh, from auto core variable now we are going to sort it so once we sort it in the mean uh, what we are going to do let me show you one more time suppose that if you plot this uh, let, let, let's print this LC so LC is telling you the location of the peak right so these are the location right 
and the pk is telling you to the maximum points so once we get these locations then what we can do we can apply a difference function difference function on this location after that we will get a you know the dates so if we divide this with the fs then you you will get it into by days right so the peaks are by days okay great so let's sort it okay and uh, once we uh, sorry we are going to get a mean uh, first of all then the mean of uh, you know the difference so the difference is lc right so if you print this sort you will get the this is uh, you know the 1.0021 that is the mean of difference now what i am going to do i am going to uh, you know uh, see here this is one right from the zero so what i am going to do here i am going to uh, get a uh, you know the peaks with the minimum distance of 1.0021 multiplied by fs so it will get the peaks between this this and these right so once again we are going to apply a find peak here so let's get a peak pk and the lc and then we can apply here find peaks right so in the find peaks we are going to pass here auto core first variable and after that we are going to tell a matlab that find all the peak with following minimum distance so mean peak and then distance right so seal of sort that is one and then multiplied by fs right so to get the get all the peaks which have a minimum distance of one and now we are going to also apply here a minimum height minimum peak height so now the minimum peak height is gonna be 0 0.3 right so it will get all the peak which has a minimum of peak with the 0 0.3 if you notice here so these peaks are corresponding with at least 0 0.3 so now this location will get this 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 these only you know uh, seven peaks so if you plot this lc now you will see here these are the only peaks if you plot lc divided by fs now this time you will see here the peaks are located only up to the at the 7 14 21 28 and 35 that means as you can see here the periodicity is a 7 and if we plot here diff diff of lc sorry diff of lc divided by fs you will see here right so this is almost a 7 and if we get a mean of this lc divided by fs now you will it should not sorry a mean of uh, lc uh, diff of lc divided by f that's when we are going to get a mean of this so as you can see here the periodicity of the data which we had seen earlier into our temperature okay which we had seen here in this one so the periodicity is you know the, this data is periodic by almost a seven days that means it shows that the office temperature in any industry is periodic you know with the week and of course this is a periodic with the week as you can see here at the weekend the temperature is low always low since uh, you know the peoples are not there into the office and um, in, in the US when the people are not there so office temperature goes below right when the people are there so because of the human heat and other things so office you know uh, office temperature is a little bit higher 
so this is all about in this video I have shown you how you can get a periodicity using autocorrelation function and how you can utilize a peak find peak method into a MATLAB to find out the peaks and the location of peaks so as you see here this is the peaks and the location of peaks right so PK PK uh, returns um, you know the maximum uh, you know uh, a maximum uh, value and the LC shows that a maximum uh, sorry uh, LC shows that um, uh, the index of that maximum value 